What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and you guys already know the deal. We're hopping back on tonight ranked double ladder and we have ourselves an awesome team to show off today. Today we have ourselves a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with three starters. Pretty dope, pretty awesome. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are pushing up on 8,000 subscribers. That just blows my mind. You guys are crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support. But rocking out in that top spot, we're going to start out with Calyrex, our one restricted mon for this team. We have as one ability, so we get the Grim Nay and we get Unnerved. So no berries, and we get a special attack boost every time we pick up KO, which is amazing. We also have that Focus Sash, so we don't get one tap. And then the move set of Astro Barrage, Ally Switch, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. Right next to him, we have Blastoise, and I absolutely love this starter. This starter is amazing. Once I saw him, I was like, yo, I gotta play him. He's so dope, and I haven't used him in a while on the channel. We have the Torrent ability, the Mystic Water as our item. Then we have Water Spout, Scald, Ice Beam, and Protect. Middle left, we have Gigalith with Sandstream and that Choice Pants. So we can do big, big damage, but only choice in the one move. We have Stone Edge, Rock Slide, both for Stab, Throat Chop, and Super Power for our coverage moves. We have our Drought Pokemon over here with Torkoal, with the Charcoal, Eruption, Fire Blast, Earth Power, and Protect as his moveset. This thing is an amazing Pokemon. We have Weather Control, and he can hit really, really hard in that Drought. Bottom left corner is going to be our Life Orb Pokemon and the second starter for this team. It's going to be Venusaur. You can't have Torkoal without Venusaur. You guys already know the deal with that. We have the Chlorophyll, so we double our speed in that drought. The Life Orb gives us that attack boost. And then this thing is all business. No Sleep Powder, no support moves. We have Frenzy Plant, Earth Power, Weather Ball, and Protect. Bottom right corner is our final Pokemon and the third and final starter. It's going to be Rollboom, Grassy Church, and Miracle Seed. Fake out Grassy Guide, Wood Hammer, and Protect as his moveset. And he's going to be able to pair well with the Venusaur as well, considering if we get that Grassy Surge out there and the drought, we're going to get Speed and Grass Stab Damage boost. That is going to be amazing, and we're going to be able to rock out from there. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Since we are using so many starters right here, what generation do you guys think has the best starters? In my opinion, I'm going to give it away to Gen 4, considering they got Chimchar, Piplup, and Turtwig. They involve an in Inferno and Polyon Torterra, I think none of them miss. I think they're all amazing and very, very strong Pokemon. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. I would love to hear you guys' answers. But let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Shadow Rider Calyrex and Starter Steam. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Shadow Calyrex team. So we got a little mirror matchup. He also has Snorlax, Rillaboom, Mimikyu, Hatterene, and Indeedee. So I can totally see him rocking out with a Trick Room and going from there. It's definitely a Trick Room looking team. But I could. I could drop an eruption and go into Torkoal. I could go Torkoal and Gigalith. I could if I really wanted to. Double hit. Because then follow me wouldn't really do much. But I think we can take out the... Uh... Can we take out the Hatterene in one shot with the eruption? I think that's possible. And I don't mind if he rolls Trick Room. I'm going to lead these two. I'm going to lead these two. I'm going to bring uh, you in the back end. Let me see his speed. I think he's rather slow. No, his speed's actually quite fast. Quite fast. I might bring Gigalith in the back end. Just in case he does rock out Trick Room, because I know that for a fact this Pokemon is really, really slow. Yes. 29. Yo, coming in here. I'm coming in here. So now we have two Pokemon that can thrive in Trick Room. Then if he doesn't roll Trick Room, I think uh, Cal actually come out here and do some work. Do some work all around. But I am really liking this. But, guys, before I actually started recording today, I was getting ready to record. And I had a Zamazetta team set up for you guys. I was like, yo, this team looks fire. Cannot wait to use it. And then... I was just about to hit that record button, and I looked at the team one last time, and I was like, yo, I'm pretty sure I used this team before. So I went back, looked at my old videos, checked out my old Zamazetta video, and come to find out it's the exact same team I used. I was like, bro, how did I forget about this? But it just made me realize how many videos I made for you guys. Like, this is recording 257 of Pokemon Sword and, Sword and Shield Online Double Battles, which is insane. Like, that's just crazy. It really is crazy to me. The 257 Double Battles. We have almost 600 videos on this channel amazing i love making videos for you guys hopefully you guys do enjoy them it really does go a long way but this guy's gonna roll out with the ndd and calyrex shadow rider i'm gonna go with my, with my drought my drought and venusaur not playing around not playing playing around we're here all business today we're here for all business um i think i'm gonna drop an eruption say hey let's get after this <laughs> i can just drop a big old eruption see how much damage we can do um i can't dynamax get that vine lash going that is an option. And get after that Calyrex. Because you know we don't like that Calyrex one bit. Or I could get a special defense boost. But nah. Yo, we're getting that Vine Lash rolling. I'm a Dynamax. I'm Dynamaxing right here right now. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. Because sometimes I hesitate to Dynamax. And I end up losing the battle because of that. So I'm just getting right after it. Venusaur's getting the Dynamax. He has a life form, so that's a fine Dynamax for me. And we're in the trap. I don't think he can change up weather either. Yeah, his team cannot change up weather. But he can roll a Trick Room. 
Which she's probably gonna do. Which she is probably gonna do, which is totally fine. She's gotta be Sash following me into Trick Room. That's totally fine. He's gonna go down after his Sash pops. This is finally actually gonna happen here, and I know that this eruption is gonna be big old damage. And we just take out Indeed. We just absolutely dump on Indeed. So we get that rolling. Eruption should bring us down enough for Vine Lash to actually take it out. Oh, and this thing's just gonna go straight for Bandit Force. Wow. 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 That really just happened? Did that, that really just happen? Bro, I could have sworn this thing was dropping a trick room, bro. Wow. Okay. I see you. You wanna play games? You wanna play games? I'll show you games. I'll show you games, baby. <laughs> you wanna play games with me? Alright, uh, yo, this guy this guy's sitting in a good spot. He has his dynamax, we don't we do we don't. I have to twist band into a move, and I'm thinking throw chop might be the move. Or do I just rock out into Stone Edge and use my choice band? We have my gigs. We <laughs> have my gig list. Any berries. We already oh no, that's our unnerves. Dantream is popping. That's fine. Jeez, man. Did not see expanded force coming. We do have to throw a chop, which is a wonderful move. But I have the choice. I have the choice. I'm thinking this is going to be the move. I'm choicing. This is going to be the move. I'm going to get after his Hatterene, and I'm just going to go for an Astro Barrage. Yes. Look at that move. Hopefully, we outspeed that Calyrex. If we outspeed that Calyrex, that could be really, really good. I know we're outspeeding that Hatterene, but are we outspeeding that Calyrex? He's on Dynamax Calyrex, so dude, if this Astral Barrage gets off, we should be sitting fine here. We should be making the comeback. That Expanded Force really dumped on my Torkoal and my Venusaur. Just dude, like instantly. I was like, yo, what you mean? What are you doing? That was so sad on him going follow me, trick him. He goes, follow me into Expanding Force. Nutty. He's just gonna outspeed. This is gonna be GG. I am Sash. Hold up. I am Sash. So you're saying there's a chance. I am Sash. Hold up. Sandstorm damage will take me out, but still, we get off a nice little Astro Barrage here. The defense is going to drop. We have a fighting shot here. The Astro Barrage can do some work. Astro Barrage is doing some work. Now it comes down to a 1v1. Yeah, now we got a game. We are going to go down to the Buffett's damage. And am I, am I choosing to a Stone Edge now? Considering the move didn't even come out. We pick up a double kill, and who is your final mod? If it's Mimikyu, I'm going to cry. Better not be Mimikyu. Calyrex, no! It's probably Mimikyu, right? He was rocking Mimikyu, or is it Rilla? Does he have a Rilla Boom? Who's your final mod? <laughs> who is it? This, this battle was just a mess, to be honest. I get a double kill, he gets a double kill. This shows the power of Calyrex all around. Who's your final mod, my dude? That's yeah, GG's. That's GG's. Dress Surge is rolling. He's going to one-tap me. He is going to one-tap me. Unless I eat this because I'm a bulky boy. And my Stone Edge gets a mean crit with that Choice Band damage. Let's go. Yo. My dude. Giggler. Step it up here. Now's the time. Grass Guy comes in. Eat this up. Say, yo, let's taste snack. Game was just a mess. Game was really just a mess. But that's our first battle. We're going to hop into our second battle. Try to show off this team and get ourselves a win. What is up with all the Shadow Rider Calyrex today? I have one. Our last opponent had one. This guy has one. It's all good. We're hopping into our second battle. Gonna get ourselves a win here. That last battle was just an absolute mess. I do not know what was going on. Thought he was going for Trick Room Turn 1, so I stayed in. He just dumped on me, got the double kill. Then I got the double kill on him. It was just one shots after one shots after one shots, and we ended up losing. But we're looking for a win here in battle number two. This guy has, like I said, a Shadow Calyrex team. He also has Aurora's cool Pokemon, Togekiss, Arctozolt, Zapdos, and Storm Drain Gastron. And Storm Drain Gastron. Um, do I go into? He has no weather control. And he has no. He does have follow me with Togekiss. That 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 is scary. But do I think he's gonna go Calyrex into that again? Nah, no way. Not a shot. Not a shot, right? I think we're safe going into these two. There's no way he's going to go Togekiss and Calyrex. I just don't see that happening. 
could guard at that point. But he doesn't have the Psychic Surge, so we're, we're, we're thriving here. We're thriving here. I'm going to bring my Shadow Rider, Calyrex. And then in the final spot, I don't really need Storm Drain Gastron. I think I'm just going to bring Gigalith here. I think Gigalith's going to get thriving out here and come in that back end. I think he's a lovely little mod. Actually... No, no, yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep that. So I was gonna say, maybe I should bring Roll Boom for the Gastron, but we already have Venusaur, so I think we're thriving here. I think we're thriving just fine. But it's cool that he has, that this guy is actually using, like, some off-meta Pokemon with Aurora's and all that. I always love playing off-meta teams, because I hate when I go up, it's just like, ah, oh, same old meta team. Everyone's using this in the Master Ball tier. So it's good that we're actually seeing some, uh, some variety here. But who are you gonna lead, kind sir? He's going to lead Aurora's and Togekiss. So I might actually protect this turn. I might protect and go for an eruption. Just for sheer fact, if he goes into a uh Oh yeah, get, you know, get your ice out of here. Get your ice out of here. But just for the sheer fact if he goes into follow me and an ice move, then I can protect, erupt, and do some mean damage onto the world. It's gonna be play. That is gonna be play. So let's erupt here. It's gonna be some big damage. And I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect here. We're not policy, so I'd rather I'd rather just get this rolling here. Let's see what he's gonna do. I think eruptions play because I don't think you're double one up in the Mactorkel slot. You could think that I'm sleep powdering him, but I'm not. I'm not rocking it. Like I said, uh, Venusaur's all business, baby. He's all business today. Business casual. He's got a suit and tie on with his sweatpants on. He's doing a Zoom call, so he, so he doesn't really care about his pants. He just cares about his upper body. <laughs> but this dude's really struggling to make a move. I got him on the ropes. Got him on the ropes. He's struggling. He's like, oh no, I'm playing jeans. Jeans got something up his sleeve. Yeah, yo, I'm coming after you with, like, the most normal moveset of all time. Protect Eruption. <laughs> See what this guy does. He's gonna go for a follow me. Did I read you? Did I read you? Now you're going for an ice move over into my, my Venusaur? Oh, no, you, you Thunder Waving. Okay. Alright. Eruption still goes with full HP. I dig it. I dig it a lot. We do some mean damage. My boy can outspeed now. I'm just going to go for another eruption. And do I just earth power or do I... Ah, uh, no, no need to frenzy plant. No, just in case a follow me comes out, I am going to Dynamax down. Or I can just go for a weather ball. Weather ball safe play. Would I rather go? I'd rather just go after this one. He's going to be his heavy hitter. So I'm going to outspeed that, drop a weather ball. And he's going to withdraw, of course. Okay, so we're getting a nice hot weather ball coming out here. Nice steamy weather ball into your Calyrex. Gonna go for a follow me now. As one coming out here. So he does a, a weird swap here. He swaps when I don't think that was the play. Follow me's gonna come out here. So Calyx is gonna take an eruption. What's this guy doing? Weather ball coming out here. That's gonna pick up the KO. Look at this thing. Grabbing the power of the sun. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Weather ball coming up clutch. Eruption's gonna come out here and do some big damage on this thing as well. Erupt. Yo, I love that animation right there. Woo! Torkoal! Yo, Torkoal! Torkoal, knock it off! Torkoal, slow your roll there, buddy! Oh, dude, we're just making up for that first battle. We're coming in hot now. We're coming in hot. I love that animation of Eruption, like I was saying. Just looks so cool. Just a giant, like, volcano coming out from Torkoal. Doing absolute work. And we pretty much secured this game. This game's over with. He has the Zolt, though. He does have the Zolt. I could, uh, Quake. I could go over on the Quake. Who else do I have in the back? I have Calyrex. I think I'm going to save my Dynamax. He's going to change up the weather? How dare you? How dare you change up the weather? Let me go there. going to Earth Power. Actually, I'm going to double up into this Aurora slot. Might erupt here. I think erupt's going to be the play. It's going to be still at full HP. I'm going to erupt, and I'm going to go after on the slot. It's going to be play. It's gonna be play. And yo, what are you eating a berry for already? Like, first turn. Oh. You're gonna go faster than everybody? That's a sick, that's sick berry, yo. I'm liking this dude's team. He's got a cool team, but I don't think he played it too well this round. Retry's gonna come out here. He's not even gonna Dynamax. He's gonna go after Venusaur. Can you eat Venusaur? Say, yo, that's tasty. Love you very much. Thank you so much. He's gonna take some life up. That's gonna be GG's. Earth Power's gonna come through. A full blown eruption. I think we're gonna be able to take this thing out and get this sweep with the Sun Squad. I'm with it. I like it a lot. Eruption volcano. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Giant volcano. 
<laughs> and yo, Dorko, chill on him. Thorkel's coming up clutch. He's doing some work. We start off one and one. Sweep this battle. Make up for the last one. Now we cop to our third and final. And look for a winning record for today's video. I don't know what's going on today, ladies and gentlemen. That first battle was a mess. The second battle, we just swept. The opponent was playing so awkwardly. I don't know what was going on. We swept them. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Hopefully, we can have a normal battle and catch ourselves a winning record. He has Assassin Team alongside with Cinderace, Urshifu, Whimsicott, Togekiss, and Male Indeedee. Um... Again, he has some weather control, so I think we're safe to go. I think we're safe to go into with these two. Definitely want my bias to up in here because I love his Pokemon. And I think we're going to bring Shadow Rider. I think Shadow Rider's nice. I think he chills for his fine. And I think we're going to get after it. I think we're going to get after it. Because if he does lead this Ascian, I could go into a Max Quake. And Max Quake could do big, big damage. But I got to watch out for the Behemoth Bash. I think it's just a dirty move. It's just so strong. Like, Ascian all around is, is amazing. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Definitely top tier in the restricted months. That's why you guys have probably seen him so, so much on the rank ladder. But yeah, first battle was just a mess. A bunch of double kills. Just a bunch of one-hit KOs. Second battle, I swept, but I think I just played awkwardly. So hopefully we can have a normal one here. He goes in with the male Ndidi. I don't think male Ndidi learns follow me, right? Might not. Might not. But I think I'm safe to just go into a quake. He's going to surge. He's going to throw a lovely little surge up here. I think I just erupt, man. Route's coming out here. I could erupt, but yo, he can go into that expanded force, which I really don't like. I really don't like. I'm just gonna fire blast into this thing if I can. The weather ball. I could protect. I think I'm gonna Dynamax and Vine Lash, maybe. Try to get off as much damage as I can onto this DD slot. This is honestly scaring me, this Ndidi. With that expanding force. It really is scaring me. He has his ass and he could go for a Behemoth Bash. I'm gonna get off Dynamax and Venusaur again. He's an absolute beast. Venusaur is a beast. I'm gonna roll out with him. Strong Pokemon. Let's see what we can do. And he's gonna go into... Well, I'm gonna get first turn. I'm gonna go into this Vine Lash. Can we KO with this? We do. We do. Love this. So we need Fire Blast Lane. We need Fire Blast land. Torkoal, let's go, baby. You're looking so strong. If your Fire Blast lands, we're sitting in a hot seat right now. Behemoth Blaze can come out here. My boy should be able to eat this up. Venusaur, your tanky little plant. Eat it up, baby. Oh. Ouch, man. Dude. Dacian's OP, man. They like, dude, why you gotta put him in the game? Why you gotta put him in the game? Yo, Fire Blast land. Ah! I don't know what to do, man. I can't deal with this game. I can't do it! Can't deal with this game right now. A fire Blast miss. We need that land. We need that land. He's gonna bring out Cinderace now. I don't like where we're sitting. Not looking good. He still has a Dynamax. He's probably gonna Dynamax. That's scary. I'm gonna go for an Astral Barrage. I am going to drop an Eruption? Maybe? Maybe? No, we're going for another Fire Blast. Step it up, Torkoal. You're better than that. You were way better than that. How did we miss our Fire Blast there? Would have been big play. Would have been big, 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 big play to get rid of this Sassy right here. Even if I didn't have Dynamax. Now that leads me to think he's got this one pretty much wrapped up. Dynamax is in race here probably. I would think so. I would. I know I would. I should be able to outspeed the uh, Dassy. Maybe not the race. My Calyrex. I know Torkoal ain't outspeed nobody. He's slow turtle boy. You slow, slow turtle boy. But can you make a move? Dude's like sitting here, like probably like bringing out his notes. What's Gene's gonna do? Flipping through his notes. What's Gene's gonna do? <laughs> He's gonna die, Max Cinder. It's all that one coming. It's all it coming, yeah. He still have our Focus Ash, which is lovely. So hopefully Calyrex is gonna say, hey. Or hopefully Cinder is gonna, gonna go after my Calyrex. Hey, take this and I'm gonna just sash up. And then maybe my Torkoal can eat up. See what happens here? That seems protective. Hey, yo, what are you doing? Chill on, man. Airstream's gonna come out here. That Bureau's gonna switch. And are you going after Torkoal? Who are you going after? I hit my Torx, man. Torx's gonna say, yo, dude, that's a lovely little snack right there. Guess I got Earth Power. Guess I gotta go for an Earth Power. Astro Barrage is going to get blocked by Zacian. 
He'll slide over onto the Cinderace, which is nice. Do some damage on him. Really decent amount. Decent amount. Fire Blast gonna get blocked. And I wonder what he's gonna do from there. Here's my Vine Lash, which I absolutely love. Vine Lash chipping away. Chipping away. I'm uh, gonna go for another Fire Blast. Give me no reason not to Fire Blast. Or it could protect. I think I am gonna protect. And I'm just going to Astral Barrage. Or, or. Or I can Fire Blast and. How I switch? Hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Fire Blast and Ally Switch. Because I can see him going for a G-Max Fireball and Torkoal just eating it up completely. But I think he's going to go for a G-Max Fireball into my Calderic slot. Try to take him, take out my Torkoal with the Behemoth Blade, right? For the play. Behemoth Blade. Coming over to my Torkoal slot, right? Well, now my Calderic slot. Let's see. No. We eat, though. That's lovely. That's lovely. Knuckle comes through. Ooh! Go into Calyx. Go into Calyx. Oh my lord. Yo, clutch Alex switch. Fire Blast. It lands! It lands! Hallelujah! We take him out. Thank you, Torkoal. Big old ally switch. Big old ally switch. And we Silver Sash. And the Astral Barrage should be able to pick up the KO. And Torkoal still posing a threat in this route with the Fire Blast. He's gonna show this is last month. Yeah, it's gonna be Urshfu. And I have who do I have? Blast Weeds in the back? Blast Weeds in the back. But obviously a natural barrage is is due. Gotta send this. I'm gonna go for a fire blast. I can land this, so it'll be lovely. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for a sucker punch. He's gonna go for an airstream. Probably in the Calyrex. He might wicked blow me, which would be tough. Good opportunity. Now you're gonna go after my kill. I actually wish you went after my calories. And we are gonna sash up next turn. He's gonna take speed though. He's gonna take speed. Just tough news. We need this Astro Barrage to actually take this thing out. Actually, uh, Vine Lash should be able to take out. Look at Boys can come, come through. We're gonna sash up. We are sashing up. So lovely little sash coming out here. Beautiful. And I think this thing's sashed. And this should be able to take out the. The Cinerace, right? It does. And we do nice damage. Yo, lovely. Yo, clutching up on the Alice with you. But, dude, this match would have been over if our first Fire Blast would have hit. The first Fire Blast would have hit. We would have been, been chilling. But now we have Grim Nay boost. It's a 2v1. And Vine Lash chipping. Ooh! Ooh! That's lovely. Let's play Ally Switch. Helping hand. Wesley should be fine here. Should be able to do this all by himself. Um, good trick. Him. <laughs> we'll just go for a barrage here. Water spell could be played, but I'm gonna play it safe with a scald in case he does damage onto me. Let's see what he does. Wicked boys can come through here. Go after Calyx, please. Yep, goes after Calyx. Yo, this skull should just be GG's. This skull, yo, blast! So it's coming in, coming in for that winning record. Show it to me. Show it to me. The clutch ally switch, baby. Give me that KO. We eating, baby. Two and one. Get that winning record. Awesome set of battles for today. Had some fun ones. Had some weird ones. But overall, got that winning record and dominated. Had a lot of fun recording with this team today. Got that winning record, which is important. We went two and one. But it was fun to use this team considering it was a little bit off meta. It wasn't just a straight meta Pokemon that you guys are used to always seeing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.